an obscure fire spell on an ancient scroll. How could I resist? The scroll contained a hidden map to Zendikar, and when I followed it, there was a fight waiting for me. Jace was right, it was a setup. <laughs> Ramaz. I should have known better than to trust him. He's been messing with my mind. I'm gonna find him, and he'll pay! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Magic 2014 with myself, Noxley1. This is Jaws of the Plains Waters 2014, and uh, a lot's changed. This game is so different to what, I, uh, what I'm used to playing with Maxwell. Um, we've now got sealed play, which is you can select booster packs and make decks out of them to um, play sealed games. It's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'll skip the tutorial. So you can, it, it's like um, a different way to play the game, basically. Uh, instead of having a pre-built deck, you just get random cards and build the deck out of them. But what we're going to do, we're going to jump in, play some campaign single player. Um, we've got to defeat Chandra N Nalar, um, who was a planes, who's been a planeswalker in the past too as well. I don't know what the lore is behind planeswalkers, but maybe this will help us find out. Okay, let's do this. They've really upped the ante in this game. The music's fantastic. The uh, the menu system is a lot easier to scroll around. The Goblin Artist dies, you may have it deal one damage to target creature or player. Okay. Of course, red deck, direct damage. Let's see what we can do. And I think this one's a lot more story based as well, which is kind of nice. We'll play exactly the same creature card she just played. Get in there. So yeah, this one looks a lot more story driven than the than the last ones. I mean, it's got a cutscene, cutscene at the start. The other ones probably did as well, but they were probably the only ones in the game. Whereas this feels a lot more sort of destroy target artifact. Are you an artifact creature? No. Then I will play my creature card instead. So I'm looking forward to that. Try and keep us. Uh, Quiet as I can during the cutscenes. Now, what's this guy's special ability? Mm, I don't really want to attack with him, so I'm going to skip. At least I got something to defend with, which is good. And if I attack her, I want it to be on direct damage and all out attack in with haste and trample and all that sort of stuff. Hopefully, if this deck's got it. He's uh, a 2 1 creature, I suppose. So, yeah, we'll play him as well. Target creature you control contain gains. Oh, so that that's quite nice. So what we're going to do? I know it will leave me pretty defenseless, but what we'll do? So we'll activate that, give him haste, and then we will attack with everything. So attack phase. Yeah, there you go. Oh, and there's a withdraw all button now as well. Fantastic. Okay, so they're going to kill each other, but that's fine. She knew not to block the 1-1 one, one over here, because when he dies, he gets, uh, I, can, I could have killed him off. Well, he's going to die anyway. But she's just blocking out the most damage. There you go. See you later. Now, she's totally defenseless. Uh-oh, and she's going to take him out as well. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, she's pretty much totally defenseless now, until unless she puts a creature down with haste and that sort of thing. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, no. Nah. 4 1. He hasn't even got trample. They're the ones that worry me from fire decks. Is the ones that have got the. Uh, the ability to just go through my creatures, just negate them. Whenever you cast a red spell. Oh, yeah, okay. Or a mountain enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. How handy. What are you? 3 4 5. Okay. Two damage to target creature or player and three damage to a third target. Oh! One damage to target creature or player, two damage to another target or creature or player, and three damage to a third target creature or player. I wonder if you can choose them all to be the same target creature. 
If he atta if she attacks with that four one, I will be able to kill it with this. So I'm gonna skip my attack. Unless she buffs his defense rating. Okay, so she's got five down now, okay. It's all good. And I hope the audios are all good for this video. It's the first one I'm recording. I did uh did try to get everything sorted. I'll just have to talk louder. Okay, so she's got five four down, that's not good. That doesn't help me in in the slightest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this. Uh so for the first one. I'm going to do creature, that one, and then for these two I'm going to do player. Ah, see I can't, hmm, three damage, okay, so I'll, I'm still going to play this card. So the first one's going to go to creatures, that's one damage. Second one is going to have to go to this creature, and then the third one, because it's three damage, there you go. Take some of that! That was very loud. And then I'm not going to attack with this guy, and I know his health's going to go back up, but at the same time I had to do it, because there was no one else to target. Besides myself, sadly. Yep. This would definitely be a thing in Magic once the card's been on the screen once and you've sort of got a good idea of it. It should just, uh... uh it's a Thopter! I used to have an Ornithopter deck, pretty much. It was pretty cool. Um, oh, and he's got flying. Shit, I might lose this match. Just saying. I may lose this match. I'm going to attack with that 5-4. Now, I can block it out with this, and when this dies, I can take out the 1-1 one, one with flying. So, yeah... Do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Block. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. Uh, see, if I keep whittling her away, but I don't want her to build up too many too many creatures, that's another thing I've got to look out for. When Pilgrims are enters the battlefield, you may search your world. That's already been done. Okay. I'll get rid of him. Yep, there you go. Right, very cool. Oh, why am I only drawing land? This is not good. This is really not good. She's going to do a guaranteed 6 damage to me this turn. But I am earning life back from this thing. So getting this out early was a good strat. I think. <laughs> I hope. Yes, yes, it, it burns. Go away. Come on. No! Why do this? Why with the land? I suppose every time I play one, I get I get one life back. But it's no good if she's doing six damage every turn. And then attack, yeah. I wonder why she isn't playing too many creatures and direct damage cards. Come on. I'm sort of in a really bad position here. I'm hinging on the fact that I don't draw mana. And it's not working. So there you go. I need to pull something in the next next go, basically, otherwise I'm boned. And that is not satisfactory. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I've got one more go after this one. What is this? No! <laughs> Oh, she's killing off one of her own creatures to do it, though. And then giving me an extra one damage. Thanks for that. Three damage to target creature or player. It's it's all I can do. It's all I can do. Although... <laughs> Alright. I'm just going to go out in a blaze of glory. Damn you, Chandra! Damn you for defeating me! Whenever I cast a red spell, not good. I 
I've gone quiet now because I'm I'm just in I'm I'm shocked. Just so shocked. She kicked my ass. I suppose it's probably not best that I go fire versus fire. No. We will be right back. Okay, we're back. We're gonna try this again. Stop the jeweler. Let's rock and roll. Okay, I'm playing with a tiger deck or lion deck, a Jani deck. We'll we'll keep that. Okay, we'll keep this hand and we'll throw. Uh, we got some cheap creatures. I'm playing with the uh, one of the DLC packs that you get because um, I did pre-order the game and I think you get all the DLC for that. So, or I didn't uh, pre-order the 15 pound one. I didn't pre-order the sort of six quid one because you can get this game quite cheap and then sort of just pick out the decks that you want. But I just I just finally got it all. But I'm going to be playing this game for a long old time. How has she already got a one mind creature out, man? Target creature you control, contact, uh, and now she's gonna attack with it. It's already got haste. No way, man. She is on this. No, I'm not gonna play the ability. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. Got nothing to block with. You might as well just go through. Okay. So that's one damage already. Jeez. We need some creatures down. Let's get this Ajani Sunseeker down. And she's got life link. She can't attack this turn, unfortunately. And this guy with 2-1 is going to be a bit of a problem. But as long as we've got some defense, we can knock that 1-1 one, one out, which is good. Throwing the Thopters down. Again, not, not great, because it means more flying creatures to deal with. What's your game? Why, why have you let this happen? Oh, because, yeah. And now, watch. Does the one damage to that and kills it. What a fool. Oh. I fucking should have well seen that coming. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can kill one of his creatures with this. Minus two, minus one. It's two, one. One, one, we're flying. Get rid of the 2-1. See ya. I feel this is a good deck for me. I used to play a lot of artifact buff decks, which is like using the artifacts and enchantments and things like that. Not so much enchantments, but more equipments. Uh, Slagworm Armor gave your creature plus zero, plus six. I remember it being quite a cheap card as well, uh, compared to some of the other stuff, like the Dark Steel set and things like that. So, uh... Dark still gives you a sort of idea of when I started playing magic. I'm showing my age. When I was your age, all this was fields. Now I could pacify him. I could pacify him, but I feel that would be a waste of a card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Seraph for the sword and hope that she hasn't got any three direct damage cards. Because that would suck. She hasn't played any instance yet. But this is Chandra, and she is a bitch. Very tactical and cunning. I don't like it. Don't attack. It'll be the last thing you do. Don't attack. Good girl. Right. I kind of want to play this, just to make sure she can't destroy him with any sort of I think six is the threshold. I think five is the maximum amount of damage she can realistically do in a direct damage situation. So I do that and I'm also going to protect it from creatures because if you do that it can get into a fight as a blocker and still not take any damage because it's got protection from creatures. Now what I want to do Ideally, is I'm not going to attack this turn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a little bit more. She might attack, giving me the chance to take out some of her creatures. She's just dealt me direct three damage. 
Oh, mate, that's fine, though. It's a very Life Link deck. I can handle that. Okay. I'm not drawing any... Uh... Okay, that's another Protect from Creatures deal. I'm not drawing that many manners. Is this the one that... Okay. If I pacify it, can it play its spells or abilities? Yeah. I pacify one of the flyers and go with my 5-7. And then hopefully I can negate any damage here. One, <laughs> three damage, do you know what I mean? Attack with all. This is handy feature, attack with all. That's nice. She can only block it with the 1-1. One, one. She's not going to, though. Taking her health down to 13. Come on. Oh, no. 15, sorry. I thought I had 7 attack then. I was reading it the wrong way around. 7 defense. 15 health. Come on, we can do this. Is that destroy target artifact? Okay, but she's got to sacrifice him for that first. So. And she's giving it haste. So she's going to try and do 5 damage this turn. I can respect that. <laughs> well played. I obviously need to buff my creature a little bit more. And I need to force fights where I can. This is this mana situation is not good either. Okay, I think. I think if I play this, just bear with me, I think I've got this. It's not like a guaranteed thing. Choose a permanent to enchant. Now, the only aura that I've got in there is one that tells it to go f down. So, if I do that... How'd you like them apples? That was some genius thinkery. He's got flying... Pacifism, all of his all of his are on tap, or all of hers are on tap. Five damage straight through, she's on ten. Fantastic. Let's see if we can keep the pressure on. She's only got an attack total of three. Ah, but then if she uses her thing to buff him, if I Ah no, see, I got rid of the one with haste. Clever thinking. So she still can't attack with this guy yet. Three damage. Negligible. Ah, you yeah. You can have it. See you later. Not fast. This, this is my not fast face. Okay. Still no mana. Damn it. I'd really like to get that out as well. I could use this to draw a card. But really, he's already got protection from creatures. But drawing a card might get me some mana. So... I think I'm just going to do it out of desperation, to be honest with you. There is a card in my deck that when the auras and enchants go on that... Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right. I need to keep my creatures back. So that I can block out the damage, should that occur. Um, but this is a very strong card, and if I pull a mana on the next go, I'm going to love it forever. Right, I'm going to deal with this 4-1, and I block him out. That's fine. I don't know if I can block out multiple creatures with the uh, immunity to creature thing. That's something I might have to look into. Yes! Right! Let's rock this Casbar. Now this will allow me to have a plus four, four white angel creature on the battlefield whenever I play an enchantment spell. If I'd have just been able to hold on, it would have been beautiful. We're going to attack, because obviously he's tapped up, or she's tapped up rather. Boom. Five damage again. Right, come on, we can do this. Five more HP. That's all I'm asking for. Damn it. Taking down to three. But I can still block because he's got like protection from creatures. Now I'm going to see if I can block both of these. Right, so. Oh! No way. Why did that go through? I wanted to block. Oh, he's tapped! Alright, never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. 
Yeah, Dawn Strike Paladin or Armored Ascension. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to play Armored Ascension and get my 4 4 Angel. There you go. I'll boost this to 10 2, 12. Attack. Pray to God it works. Yes! Whoa! I almost fell off my chair flying backwards then. Yes! Fantastic. I had a near death experience. And I almost put my back out. In fact, I think I did put my back out. Shit. Okay. Well, we won. We beat her. Thank God for that. Um, yeah, this deck is definitely the one. I'm in a lot of pain now. Um, this deck is definitely the one, and I think I will be using it for most of my upcoming matches. Need to get my synergy on with it. Make sure I can use it properly. But yes, this has been Magic the Gathering, Jewels of the Planeswalkers 2014. And uh, we are definitely going to carry this on. I am loving this. Catch you later, guys. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye. I underestimated you. It won't happen again. I could use some help tracking a traitorous planeswalker named Ramaz. Here's a few clues. The Hives on Chandelar. A Death Mage on Ravnica. A Dragon Mage of Joint. A Pendant from Amstrad. An Elf Shaman of Zendikar. So how about some adventure?